Hi everyone, I want to welcome you to our Google Plus Hangout, all about creating Food Revolution Day activities within your home. Home activities are perfect for getting your family and friends involved in this exciting day. Food Revolution Day on May 17th is a global day of action for people everywhere to celebrate real food, where it comes from, and how to cook it. It's a day to come together to keep cooking skills alive, improve our food knowledge, and share it with others. We want to focus on getting homes across the world involved. We understand that creating your own activity can be daunting, but we want you to know that it should be fun and easy. Just make sure your Food Revolution Day activity has two components. An educational element and is focused on keeping cooking skills alive. So it can be anything to do with food, cooking, growing, and food education based. I'm going to start off by giving you five Food, five food Revolution Day home activity examples. These are just a starting point and a few ideas, but feel free to get creative as you'd like. So for our first activity idea, get your family and friends around for a movie night dinner. Make pizza from scratch or download the Food Revolution Day basic pizza recipe, which can be found at foodrevolutionday.com forward slash recipes, and provide lots of different toppings for people to make their own pizza. Our second activity idea is to show friends how to make their own meals go further by roasting a chicken and using the different cuts of meat to make different meals over the weekend. You can make chicken fajitas with the breast meat on Friday, shred up the thigh meat into lasagna for Saturday, and use up the remaining, remaining bits for a tasty sandwich on Sunday. Our third activity idea is to organize a dinner and a cocktail party themed around a specific country. Get your friends to bring in their own dishes, ingredients, and recipes from the chosen region and swap ideas. Our fourth activity idea is to have a cooking session with your kids once a week or month. Try different recipes that don't require too many sharp objects or heat, like whizzing up fresh fruit smoothie, or you can download our oatmeal raisin cookie recipe for a special treat. Make sure to take them shopping to choose their ingredients and get them involved as possible. For our fifth activity idea, use the recipes from your Food Revolution Day dinner as a starting point for a food blog to share with friends. Start up a monthly supper club and get everyone to post up their recipes. Now that you have an idea about a few Food Revolution Day home activities, I want to talk to our Food Revolution ambassador who's been hard at work pulling together her home activity. I'd like you to meet Noelia from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Hi, Noelia. Hello, everyone. This is Noelia's first Food Revolution Day, and she's focused on creating an activity at home all about blogging your favorite recipe. So, Noelia, I would love for you to, to kind of talk a little bit more about your activity and how you came up with your idea. Perfect. Yes, well, nowadays we all have our Facebook, Twitter, a blog, or a website. So, um, my idea was to make a special post on May 17 about Food Revolution Day. It can be your favorite recipe, your granny's lasagna, dinner with family, lunch with friends. Just capture that moment, take a few pictures, maybe write a few lines, and post it online. Uh, what I like about this is that it doesn't matter if you have to be out working all day long because you can do it when you get back home. And it's a great way to send a massive message to the media all together. I love that. So you're going to be having people kind of on different social media channels posting their favorite recipes and, and kind of what they're doing for Food Revolution Day, right? Exactly. First of all, I had to search food bloggers from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Then I wrote them an email explaining what was Food Revolution, what, were, what we were going to do on Food Revolution Day, and what was my idea about. Their response was amazing. They all wanted to be in. And they also start sharing the event with all of their followers. So this is like a big snowball. It's getting bigger and bigger, and they are all going to be part of Food Revolution Day. I love it. And what kind of first steps did you take to kind of get the word out about Food Revolution Day? How did you contact bloggers? Um, do you have any tips for anyone trying to do the same thing? Well, as a blogger or a foodie, we all have our emails there because we love to hear comments about what they think about our recipes or what we write there. So it's very easy. Just uh, take out their contact page and write in an email. We all have information on Food Revolution website about what it's about and some ideas. So just share it with them. 
they are going to be happy to hear about it. And I bet everyone wants to be part of this day. Great, I love it. So maybe anyone who's kind of in their community wanting to pull something together fast for Food Revolution Day um, and will be home for the day kind of after work, maybe in the next week or two they should kind of be looking at local bloggers, um, anyone who's using social media a lot that's in kind of the food industry and real food and food education focused um, and really reach out to them, tell them about the day, uh, get them excited about it, show them the website, and really just kind of start a conversation with them. And maybe they can also post for Food Revolution Day and get their kind of communities involved as well. So that is a great idea. And do you have any kind of suggestions on how others can start hosting an activity like this? So you mentioned, you know, you'll be reaching out to local bloggers, but um, what other ways could people kind of get involved and in that similar to what you're doing right now? Well, oh, I think this is me. going to be your first event. Just keep it simple. It, it's a day. To, it's a day to enjoy, to celebrate, and we don't have to complicate our lives. So, with blogs, like I said, it's very easy. You can reach a lot of people, and you can share ideas with them. Great. And what are you most looking forward to about Food Revolution Day? I love Food Revolution Day because we are all from different parts of the world, but we all have the same vision and we are all connected that day for the same cause. It's, it's amazing. I love it. And then what will you be cooking for Food Revolution Day? Do you have anything in it's mind? Going, yes, it's going to be a tacos party. So if some friends come over to my place, they can bring their favorite ingredients and they are going to try some new I have prepared for them. Great. And what's your favorite thing to cook? I think everything, but I'm a master pizza. Pizza. Me too. I love, I love pizza. That. Yeah, from scratch. Now I'm using a lot of fruits and vegetables that I, I didn't use for a long time. I love it. Well, Noelle, I think you've been very inspiring to others to kind of help them get started and to pull their Food Revolution Day activity together over the next few days and weeks. So I want to thank you. I love that you have found a way to connect everyone for Food Revolution Day. Um, even though everyone is not in the same city, anyone can get involved. That's what it's all about, connecting people through real food and food education. Um, so I want to thank you today for sharing your innovative oh, you. activities. And I hope now that anyone can be inspired to kind of have a better idea of how to put together their Food Revolution Day activity. Yeah. Um, in the comfort of their own home. Uh, to keep in mind that activities don't need to be large, as Noelia was mentioning, or on a grand scale, can really be pulled together in a few days or weeks, um, but can consist of a few people getting together and learning about a new food um, or a new cooking skill. So make sure to get started today by going to foodrevolutionday.com forward slash Oh, foodrevolutionday.com is where you're going to get involved, and you're going to go to foodrevolutionday.com forward slash downloads um, to get all of our one-pagers, our activity guides, and everything you'll need to get started. So make sure to check it out, um, and if you are pulling an activity together, make sure you're uploading it on our website so we can see all the cities that are getting involved. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to frd at jamieoliver.com, and you can tweet us at foodrev. Can't wait to see all your Food Revolution Day activities on our global map. So remember to cook it, share it, live it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.